Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about today's plan with me for several different reasons. The first one is that, as you can see, I have a new pen. Haven't had a new pen in a while because I've been using my Twisby and I just love it, but I got this Pilot Precise V5 the other day and decided to try it out and it's amazing. I just, I can't get enough. First of all, do y'all see the tip? It is a super, super fine tip pen. I think it's technically a roller ball, but it writes really smoothly like gel, which I like because gel is my favorite type of pen. And it writes really well on the Hobonichi paper. It does take a few seconds to dry, but so does my Twisby, so I'm used to that. It doesn't bother me at all. This is the first time that I'm gonna be using it for a full spread. I have used it in the daily pages to write Bible study notes and stuff, but this will be my first time using this pen in the actual weekly section, so we'll see how that goes. And because I'm not using my Twisby, I did pull out my pencil board right here because that does help my handwriting when I'm using a gel or gel type pen. Next up, I'm going to be using the Pride and Prejudice Hobonichi kit from my shop, it looks like this. Pride and Prejudice is one of my very favorite books and I love the BBC version of the film with Colin Firth. So I always look forward to using this kit. I think this is the third time maybe that I've used this kit. I'm, I know I've used it multiple times. And the reason I chose this is because this week I actually filmed a reading vlog, which is already live on my channel if you want to check it out. But I thought it would be fun to do a bookish sort of theme spread to go with the overall bookish vibe of the week. So I'm going to be talking about that a lot in this spread as well, and hopefully you enjoy it. I think I have quite a few bookish customers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this spread, and I'm definitely going to put the Mr. Darcy quote in the top left of the sidebar over here. Just like that. And then I'll do my date covers. Also never use this pen on sticker paper, but it seems to be working really well. I'm a fan of pilot pens in general. As a matter of fact, the first pens that I ever totally fell in love with were the Pilot G2 pens. I actually used to use those in, when I was in high school. So I started using, let me see, that was probably 12 years ago, at least, that I started using Pilot G2 pens because I remember taking my notes for some of my classes with those pens. I, I had the big set of all the different colors and I loved picking a color to write my notes in for the day. And then I also like the Pilot Juice pens. And when I was in college, I used the Pilot Friction pens that you can erase. So I've been a Pilot fan for a long time, but I kind of got out of it when I got into my Zebra Sarasa and now I have another Pilot pen. So it's like going for full circle here. Okay, there are our date covers down. And Okay, the washi I'm going to wait to put down because I have a, an idea for how I want to mark something this week. And it's going to sort of hamper, not hamper, but I'm going to need some space up at the top. But I will start putting down my full boxes. I'm going to put two on each side like I usually do. I'm going to put Elizabeth down here. And then I'm going to put Mr. Darcy, I think, on the top of Sunday. For those of y'all that are Jane Austen fans, what is your favorite book or movie by her? Because I think Pride and Prejudice is the most popular, and I do really like that one. But my favorite book is probably Persuasion. I also like the 1971 television film of that. And I also really like Emma. Okay, now I have this Pemberley box. I think I'm going to put it sort of right here in the middle. Perfect. Okay. Now we can do our sidebar, and I want to actually put my Bible study for the week at the top because for the last couple weeks, I put my Bible verse at the top, and then I sort of, not run out of room, but I have to scrunch things in at the bottom, and I'm hoping I can do a bit of a better job this week if I put the Bible verse first. I'm going to put down this custom script. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I got confused. I'm going to put down this custom script from my shop. Then I have my 
little notebook over here with all my weekly planning details. Okay. So Monday, I read Acts chapters 1 through 3. And then Tuesday was Acts 4 through 6. And Sunday was the book of James. Okay. Now I have a good bit of space to write my Bible verse for the week. And this week my Bible verse is Romans 15, verse 13. Okay, sidebar is done. There's a little bit of space at the bottom. This kit doesn't have deco, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna to use to fill that in, but we'll worry about that later. For now, let me zoom you in and we'll get started. Okay, so as I said earlier, I filmed a reading vlog this week, and this was my first ever reading vlog, which I've been wanting to film one for quite some time, but I just kept putting it off. I don't know, I was nervous that it wouldn't be any good or no one would like it. It'd be like a waste of time. But I finally just decided to film it. I filmed it this whole week except Sunday. I did finish it on Saturday night. So what I'm going to do is take these thin washi strips and put them along the top over the days where I was filming my vlog like that and then I'm going to take a sticker of some sort probably one of these boxes the squares and put it right here just to note that I was filming a reading vlog I actually really like how that video came out it wasn't super popular which I kind of expected it to not be but I think I'm going to film another one pretty soon and hope that they'll draw more interest as time goes on I'll get a sticker to put there because I have tons of reading stickers and filming stickers, so I should have something that will match. These are my play button Winstons in the neutral scheme, which I think matches the colors of this kit pretty well. I think I'm going to take, you know, I'll just use this cream colored one at the top. on the side right here. Perfect. Okay, so that is marked. I'm really happy about it. Next, I do want to mark work the way I've been marking it because I really am into that. I just love how it how it looks. So for that, I think I'm going to use this purple half box right here. And then I'll draw my line across the planner. I wonder how long the style is going to last for me because I do like to switch up my style pretty often. I did not work on Saturday this week, I don't think. Let me look. No, I didn't. Okay. So we'll stop our arrow on Friday. Y'all will have to let me know if you think this pen makes a difference in my handwriting, good or bad. You can be honest. All right, let's fill in that work half box. I have these work scripts from my shop. And, okay, what did I use last week to mark work? Oh, yeah, I used a little cow sticker from Happy Day. I'm going to use a different sticker from Happy Day this week. It's this little, like, overworked girl. I think it's so cute. I'm going to use my script right next to it, a little closer than that. Okay, so the base of my spread is coming together very nicely. Now I wish I'd cut this end of the, this end of the washi into a flag. 
because then it would be like an arrow, sort of like this one, but we'll live and learn. We'll just, maybe next time I'll remember to do it that way. Okay, so on Monday, I needed to end the sale that we'd had over the weekend. And also fill orders. And I already marked, well, I was gonna mark beginning to film the reading vlog, but I already pretty much marked that, so I'm not gonna mark it again. But I will mark that I started reading Curtain while I was doing orders. That was the first book that I wanted to start for my, my book reading vlog. I read three books in that vlog, and they were all books that I really just wanted to see if I liked so I could take them off my shelf because I am decluttering my bookshelves. Okay, to mark beginning curtain, I'm going to use the glasses Winston from my shop. I think I forgot to mention, but all the stickers, shops I mentioned, this planner, this pen, everything else will be linked down below if you want to check out where anything is from. Okay, begin reading curtain, taken care of. I also needed to do some writing stuff. And for that, okay, every time I use this kit, I sort of have this problem where I don't have the right stickers to match the color scheme, because this is a very unique color scheme. So I kind of have to scrounge through my collection. All right, I'm already obsessed with how the spread looks, just saying, I love it so much. Okay, in the afternoon, I needed to go to the post office and Sam's. I feel like I say that I go to the post office about 25 times in every spread, but I just go so much, I can't help it. So, for the post office, see if we have any stickers that the right color. I wonder if I should bring these back to the shop. You know what? I might just use a car sticker. I was gonna I was gonna try and get a package sticker, but I think I'm going to use a car sticker that way I can mark both errands in one go. And also I think I want to put this on a label of some sort because I haven't used that many labels yet. Here's this blue scallop. I like this color. Okay. And now for the post office and Sam's, I'm going to take this little purple car sticker, also from Happy Day Up. In the evening, I made myself a peanut butter mug cake. Not surprising at all. I'm going to use my handy dandy jar of peanut butter stickers to mark that. Okay, and at the end of the night, on this day, I started reading Wuthering Heights, but if you watched my reading vlog, you'll know why I don't want to mark that in my planner. So now I have some more space down here than I really want, and I do still have the 
washi strips, this thicker washi. It actually came with the kit, so I'll probably put this down. But I still feel like we're gonna have, I feel like that looks super weird to have the washi at the bottom of the page like that. So I'm gonna take that back up, actually, and I'll save that for later. I don't have a lot of washies that I think match this kit, but I do have this gold foiled cream colored one from Simply Gilded, and I think I'm just gonna tear a piece off like this and fit it in this space so it takes up the space on the sidebar and on Monday. I think that looks pretty good. So that is how I'm going to fix that conundrum. Okay, heading over to Tuesday. Work this day, I needed to film a plan with me. And then edit and upload that plan with me. And also fill orders. After that, I did some more writing, which I probably am out of writing stickers from my collection. I'll put down a little quarter box just in case. Let's go through my sticker binder here. Yeah, I'm out of pen and pencil Winstons, but not to worry because I'm going to grab one out of my stock box. Okay, fresh sheet of pen and pencil Winstons, perfect for marking my writing adventures. So the next thing I had to do, or didn't have to do, but I wanted to do for the day, was make some name tags because Ashley's boss, it's his birthday, was the next day at work and they were planning a surprise party for her. And the theme of the party was SpongeBob because Ashley and her little group of coworkers have this running gag about SpongeBob. So I wanted to participate a little bit because I've met all of her coworkers. I don't work there, but um, I know them to an extent. So I thought it'd be fun to offer my little contribution to their effort. So I decided to make little SpongeBob name tags for everybody. And I'm going to mark that with this minion sticker that I made for myself because Ashley's boss always refers to Ashley and the other employees as her minions. So I'm gonna mark it like that. And the name tags were a big hit by the way. Okay, next I did yoga, but I don't have a lot of space left, so I think I'm gonna skip marking yoga and instead mark budgeting, because that's more important to me today. And for budgeting, I'm going to use the sticker from Bubba Bear Studios. And then beneath that, I want to mark that I trimmed my hair. I'm going to grab Haircut Winston. Probably just use this light blue one. And I don't really have space to write next to it because the sticker's a little bit big for this planner, so I'm just gonna put it right there in the middle of the page. And at the end of the night, I just did some reading but I also tried scarf curls again. This is the third time I've tried them. 
They're still not perfect, but we're definitely getting somewhere. And I'm determined to make this work. So I'm gonna mark that with this really cute sticker from Happy Day. Can y'all see that? There we go. Now we can go over to Wednesday, and Wednesday I needed to film a pack orders with me video. And then of course edit and upload. I also had to go to the post office. Next, I'm going to put down this half box along with this happy bear sticker from Grin and Barrett Plans for something that I'm going to mark off camera later. On this day, I also baked banana sour cream bread. I'm going to mark that. I have banana bread stickers, but I feel like the color is really not cohesive to the spread. So instead I'm gonna use one of my baking bunnies. This one is plum. When did I click my pen? All right, made my sour cream banana bread. And then I needed to package up some books for paperback swap. And for that, I'm going to use one of our Package Winston's. I also went to the library on this day. So I'm going to take this Snuggly Reading Winston, just to mark a library trip. I think I actually have library scripts. Let me see if I have any left. Just fit since I moved the sticker over a little bit. All right, library trip. And then I needed to do laundry. I also did yoga and I finished curtain. So I'll probably get to mark two of those three things for laundry on this day. I think I'm gonna use this Girl sticker from Stick with the Plan Co. And then I will put finishing curtain on a label because it was kind of a big deal. This is the last Agatha Christie I'm ever going to read, I decided, because I just do not care for her writing style. So I think I'm going to use my little glasses, Winston, again. So cute. Fill that in. Heading over to Thursday, we will first and foremost move our pencil board. Are you impressed that I remembered? Because I'm impressed that I remembered. Okay, so this day I needed to sit down and make a list of anniversary new releases because our shop anniversary is coming up on August 17th and we're going to have a big batch of new releases, a sale, giveaways, all that stuff. All the details will be on Instagram if you want to follow along. 
and I have pretty ambitious plans for this anniversary sale, so I, I need to do a lot of planning. Hopefully I can pull it off. And on this day, I also started editing my reading vlog because I knew it was going to be a long video, and it, it was. It is actually when I first... Gosh, those crows are so loud. Did y'all hear that? When I first started editing this video, it was like an hour and 20 minutes, and I managed to cut it down to under an hour. But I knew it was going to take me a while to edit, so I wanted to get started early. Okay. I went to the post office again, but I don't think I'm going to mark that because eh, it doesn't really... I've marked that a bunch this week. But I did have an eye appointment this day. Uh, should I put that on a half box? It's kind of a big deal, I guess. I got new contacts, a different brand, and I really like them. Because the other ones I had were kind of making my eyes feel dry at the end of the day. Of course I have to use glasses, Winston, for my eye appointment. You know what though? I should have room. I was gonna say I don't think I'll have room for everything, but it should be okay. After my eye appointment, I needed to go pick up a package because I ordered hokas and they came on this day. So I'm going to mark that with a sneaker sticker from my shop. I'm just going to use this blue one. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna, well, I am going to use it, but I'm going to put it on top of this flag from the kit because I want it to look a little more put together. After that, we got Chick-fil-A for dinner. I think I mentioned it in a recent plan with me. I've been playing Code Moo, so I get free food every week, and I don't like to let it go to waste if I can help it. If it's Because some of the stuff I don't like, but most of it I like to eat, so I've been going to Chick-fil-A a little bit more than usual lately. Also, it's peach milkshake season, and I love their peach milkshakes, so... The last thing I want to mark for this night is that I started reading another book. It was The Vicar of Wakefield. And I want to mark that with a different book sticker. I think I'm going to use my cozy, snuggled up reading Winston in the chair. Now we'll go over to Friday, and this was definitely a made it to Friday kind of week, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to grab a sticker to mark that. I think this purple one would fit the best. Just put that right here. And on this day, I needed to remit my quarterly sales tax. And then print and file receipts. and then print and cut stickers. I also
also had to refill my Twisby on this day. And I know my Twisby stickers aren't gonna match the spread because they're all darker colors. So I think I'll just use a dot to mark refilling my Twisby. I don't even know why I like to keep track of when I refill it. I just think it's interesting, I guess. Need to do some more editing of my vlog. So I'm going to mark that with this light blue play button Winston. And then I only have like two more things to mark for this night. So I think I'm just gonna fill this base up with some washi. I'm gonna use the cream one that I showed y'all earlier and just tear off a strip and put it down. And I got a new sheet of Shower Winston's so I can mark washing my hair. Now we'll go to Saturday and Sunday. Not a lot going on either of these days, honestly, but I will mark sleeping in. And I'm going to use on Sunday, I'm going to use this sticker from Once More With Love. And on Saturday, I might use this. I might use one of these. I think I want to use this this one from Paper and Milk, the little purple one. Yay. And then beneath that sleeping sticker, I'm going to put a half box. Again, to mark something later on off camera. And then Ashley made biscuits for breakfast, which I've mentioned before is one of my favorite things to eat for breakfast. So I'm going to mark that. I have a really cute eating sticker. Oh, here it is. From Happy Day that I want to use. And I had some work to do this day, which was on my computer. So if I can find a laptop sticker or something that would match the spread, that would be great. These are way too bright <laughs> to match. Let me see. I have these. I think one of these might have to do. I use the light pink one. And I'll write about what I was doing later. In the afternoon, I went for a hike. Which was really nice. We haven't been hiking as much lately. Definitely need to get back into that. So to mark my hike, I'm going to use this girl, also from Happy Daya.
And then I finished The Vicar of Wakefield on this evening. So I'm going to mark that. I want a blue sticker, so I'm going to use this blue Snuggly Reading Winston. The last thing I did this day was some planning. So for that, I got these plan scripts that definitely aren't going to match, unfortunately. I also, I might use this planning cart sticker, which is from a shop that doesn't exist anymore, but it matches pretty well. Alright, so Sunday I think I'm going to work this this day from the bottom up. And in the evening I want to mark that I started a new book and I'm going to use a half box for that because I have a couple half boxes left. And I can I just want to use them up if I can. I'm going to use this little sticker from Teddy Plans Co. Above that. I folded and put away some laundry, but that's not very exciting, so I think I'm just going to leave that off. I do want to use one of these Lazy Day Sloth stickers, one of my favorite stickers from my shop. And they're a little bit bright for the spread, but I think, I think maybe the brown one would work. It's just too cute. I really wanted to use one this week. Okay, and above that, I did some more editing on my reading vlog. Okay, and above that, I definitely need to mark that Ashley made a cookie pizza. She's been baking a lot recently, and I am definitely enjoying that. She actually made this to take to work, but she gave me a slice, which was nice. Okay, cookie pizza. But I actually also went to Red Robin for lunch this day. So I'll mark that. I have these really cute burger stickers from Happy Daya that I might use. I have some other burger stickers, but those are the cutest ones. Yeah, I'll just use one of these. And I know that the only other sticker I need is to mark taking out the trash. So let me go ahead and grab that. There it is. Put that down right here and we can just fill the rest of the spread out in one go.
Okay, that is going to take care of my spread. Let me straighten up and I will zoom you out. All right, there's my very appropriate Pride and Prejudice themed spread for my reading vlog week. I hope you enjoyed seeing me put it together. As always, I really appreciate you being here and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.